Then I'm going to show you how to create a new environment for your bot using Dialogflow as the NLP target. I'm going to select the Add New Environment button from the top left right here and select Dialogflow from the list. As you can see, Dialogflow needs a name, a description and a valid JSON file to provide the credentials needed to connect to Dialogflow. To get those, I'm going to go to dialogflow.cloud.google.com. And in this drop down list on the top left hand side, you might find there's no bots here, but somewhere on this scrollable list, um, you'll find an option to create a new agent. On this following page, you need to provide a name. So I'm going to put e commerce development bot. And as you can see, we're not allowed to put spaces in the names of this um, for the name of the bot. Make sure the language and the time zone are specified. This is particularly relevant if you're developing in a different language where someone might enter a time or date. And if need be, select the relevant Google Cloud project that you want this dialogue flow agent to be hosted in. Um, if you don't know the name of the project, then leaving it blank will create a new project for you. Click and create will just take a couple of minutes, but dialogue flow will build all the necessary things to allow you to deploy from EBM into um, that agent. Once it's done, you should see the page change and you should see the new name of the bot appear in the menu on the left hand side and two default intents appear. There we go, that's now been created and ready for us to use. The last thing we need to do is download the key for that allow LEBM to connect to it and give it the necessary permissions. To do this, we're going to click on the little gear icon and then click on the link, which is the project ID that relates to where this bot is contained. That will open the dialog flow of the IBM Google Cloud um, platform administration tools. And from that, we can select I am an admin and then service accounts. From the following page, we can create a service account. Let's give it a name, EVM development bot. And we don't need to fill out any of the rest of the details, so we can just click done. Uh, as you can see, it now currently says that there are no keys, so I'm going to start by creating a key for this service account. Using the three dots, I can click on uh, the manage keys option, and then the add key button will default to downloading a JSON file, which is the recommended option. That should download to your computer in something like the downloads directory. Uh, just make sure you know where that's gone. Lastly, before I go back to EVM, I need to now associate a role to that um, service account. So clicking on the IAM menu, I can add a role. In this particular case, I need to search for the service account that I've just created. So again, remember the name, we can search for EVM, and here you can see EVM development bot against the e-commerce project that uh, relates to the project that I've just created. I'm then going to click on the role type and I'm going to search for dialog flow. And there's two options here, dialog flow API admin and API client. We want to make sure it's the API admin role. Once I've saved that, uh, you can now see that role appear in the list and I've done everything I need to do in the Google Cloud platform. I'm going to go back to EVM and I'm just going to drag on my JSON file into that blue area on the right hand side and just give it a name. Once saved, I should now be able to deploy to that environment just as I would any other environment. Deployment should take a couple of minutes, but after that, you should see that status change to successful. Note that if you haven't selected the API admin, this process might fail, so do check permissions before you do so. Thanks very much.